हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज फोर डी आई एव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड एक्सरसाइज फोर ए फोर बी फोर सी नाउ वी विल जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एक्जैक्टली एक्सरसाइज फोर डी इज सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ लेट जस्ट क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द कॉन्सेप्ट्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डू दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सरसाइज सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट स्टार्ट सो द वन एंड ओनली कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सरसाइज इज ट्राइंगल सो वट डू मीन बाई ट्राइंगल ट्राइंगल इज ए थ्री साइडेड पॉलीगन थ्री साइडेड polygon so what do you mean by polygon polygon is a closed figure made up of line segments closed figure closed figure made up of made up of line segment that's it that's it and nothing else right so that means triangle is a three sided polygon so that means it should be a closed figure made up of line segments so that means the first line second line and third line so if i just connect all these three line segment so it is nothing but called as what it is nothing but called as triangle right so now after getting to know about the definition of triangle one more concept which is required that is called interior and exterior of triangle interior interior and exterior so what do you mean by interior and exterior same they are these two words are nothing but called as interior points and exterior points so what do you mean by interior points and exterior points these are the points which are there in the surface of the triangle so what do you mean by the surface of the triangle whether it is in the inner surface or where it is in the outer surface so the points which are there in the inner surface for example this point this point this point, this point this point this point so these points are the interior of this particular surface so these points are nothing but called as interior points interior points and those points which are in the outside for example this one so these are called the exterior points these are called the exterior points and that's about it we don't need to uh, find out something more difficult that is the concept which is which is required to solve this exercise and now let's just straight move on to our exercise part part that is exercise 4d all right, all right, all right. wait 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 one more concept which is required that is the boundary of the triangle boundary points so boundary points means more means, means what those points which are in the line segments of the polygon these points are called the boundary points right so we have three points that is interior exterior and boundary points that's it now let's just move on to solve the exercise all right so let's just start exercise 4d so first question is take three non collinear points non collinear points which one which are lying in the same line with the points which are lying on the same line so we need to draw such points which are non collinear okay on a page of your notebook so this is our notebook all right so after that join a b b c and c a and find the following all right the first question is figure so obtained so let's just start solution all right so now we have to make three points which are non collinear so let's say this point this point and let's say this point okay mark that one a b c now figure obtained so that means we have to join the points all right so let's just join the points so after joining the points what is that figure that is forming that is nothing but called as triangle therefore the figure is a triangle is a triangle one more thing this point that is therefore this abbreviation is nothing but called as therefore therefore all right so first question done move on to our next question that is side opposite to angle a so now where is angle a this portion is angle a so the side opposite to angle a that means angle a is here and what is the opposite side which is there that is this part which is called as bc so that means second answer will be what solution side opposite to angle a is bc done third one angle opposite to side ac where is ac this is the side which is ac this side 
AC and the opposite of AC will be this angle surely this angle so that means this angle is nothing but called as angle B so angle opposite to side AC is angle B done so that means what we have to do it non-collinear points join these points figure what that is obtained write that figure and the question which is that side opposite to angle a where is angle a there is angle a opposite side that is bc now another question is angle opposite to side ac where is ac find out ac this is the part this is ac this is ac all right this is ac so ac opposite to ac is angle b so that's about question number one moving on to our next question that is question number three all right so let's just straight jump into question number three that is the last question of today's video name the following all triangles and the figure is given this is the figure which is given and the first question is all triangles how many triangles are there in total we have to write it down after that all angles opposite to side a b and all line segments and triangle with vertex p all right so let's just do one by one so the first answer is solution one all triangles so now let's just focus on how many triangles are there in this figure so let's just observe this is the total triangle if you just observe it carefully this is the first triangle let's say a b and what is that point that is d so first triangle is number of triangles font right this one right this way and start naming this is the shape of this is the abbreviation which we use for triangle when we are using when we are talking about angle we just use this this shape all right so when we are using uh, when we are talking about triangle this is the abbreviation which is needed to give so the first portion is a b d all right after that move on this is the second triangle this part that is a c b if you just remove this part you can clearly observe it just see a b c so next triangle will be a b c all right done after that just join is there just join and this portion is a b p a b p so we can pronounce like triangle a b d triangle a b c triangle a b p like that way all right moving on next one join again this portion and remove this part so this is the another triangle if you just observe it carefully so that means a d p so triangle a d p all right after that uh, this portion remove this part so what is the triangle that is forming that is b p b c so that means triangle p b c any more i don't think so these are the total triangles which are actually forming in total all right so there are five triangles after that move on to our next question question number two all angles opposite to a b so now c all angles opposite to a b so where is a b first of all we have to observe we have to find out where exactly a b lies so this this is the portion a b so in the first triangle there is a smaller triangle a b p so opposite of a b there is one angle that is angle p so we can write number of angles opposite to a b put one column and write down angle p comma now see just remove this part and join another triangle d here again ab is the base and what is the opposite 
angle which is present that is angle D so that means angle D is the another angle again remove this part so what is that angle that is forming that is AB is here and angle C it's easy it's simple so that means in total I got angle P angle D and angle C third question all line segments write down how many line segments are there AB and what is the sign which is which actually signifies that this is a line segment put one line at the top after that AD after that ABC after that DB after that AC after that DP after that PC after that AB AP after that PB anything left I guess no anything which is left PC PC all right yes done almost these are the total line segments which are forming in this particular figure last but not the least question number four that is what triangle with vertex P so what do you mean by vertex for revision purpose let me just discuss it once again when we are talking about angle at this point two rays which are which are joining at any common point so this common point is nothing but called as vertex this common point is nothing but called as vertex so here what they are asking that triangles with vertex p so this is the vertex which is p and how many triangles are forming by using this by using this particular vertex so the first triangle would be a b p so triangle a b p again if you just observe it carefully this is the another triangle that is a p d triangle a p d again this is the another one that is p c b triangle p c b any more any more i guess not yes so in total in total how many triangles are forming by using this particular vertex that is three triangles what are the triangles angle a p a b p triangle a p d and triangle p c b so that's it that's it for this video i hope that you have understood what how to approach and how to write the sentence how to observe the figure carefully without making any mistake so that's all for this video i'll see you in the, my next class so up to then stay tuned and Bye-bye.